An asteroid with the potential to devastate a major city has been discovered and a global planetary defense protocol has been activated. This is a TLP Space News update. The asteroid, now called Asteroid YR4, was discovered on December 27, 2024 by the El Sauce Observatory in Chile just two days after it made a close pass by Earth on Christmas Day. Estimated to be between 130 and 300 feet wide, or roughly the size of a football field, scientists have classified the asteroid as a city killer. If it were to collide with Earth, the impact could generate the force of 8 megatons of TNT, more than 500 times the power of Hiroshima's atomic bomb. The European Space Agency says an asteroid of this magnitude strikes Earth once every few thousand years, which makes this discovery particularly concerning. With the discovery, planetary defense protocols have activated two UN response teams. The International Asteroid Warning Network is conducting additional observations to refine the asteroid's orbital path, and the Space Mission Planning Advisory Group has also been alerted, and they are ready to propose deflection strategies if needed. In late January 2025, the International Asteroid Warning Network issued an alert classifying 2024 YR4 as a Level 3 threat on the Torino Impact Hazard Scale. This means it's significant enough to warrant close monitoring and asking any ground-based telescopes to observe as we have limited time to do so. Initial calculations show that the asteroid follows an elliptical orbit, traveling between the inner planets, past Mars, and outward towards Jupiter before swinging back. The good news? The asteroid is currently moving away from Earth and won't pass near us again until 2028. The not great news is we won't be able to track it much longer because it will become extremely dim until its return in 2028. Once it returns in 2028, astronomers plan to refine its trajectory further and reassess the impact risk. If the asteroid does collide with Earth, the damage could be devastating. Scientists estimate that the impact could flatten everything within a 50-kilometer radius, or roughly 31 miles, causing destruction across the area of the size of an entire city and its surroundings. Possible impact zones stretch across a broad risk corridor. This includes the Pacific Ocean, northern South America, parts of Africa, and regions of South Asia. Similar events have happened before. The Tungska event in 1908, for example, flattened 80 million trees across 770 square miles over a vast area of Serbia. However, you don't need to panic, as for the first time in human history, our planet isn't defenseless. NASA and other agencies have been working on methods to alter an asteroid's trajectory. In 2022, NASA's DART, Double Asteroid Redirection Test Mission, successfully nudged a small asteroid, proving that kinetic impactors do work. Other proposed strategies include lasers to vaporize parts of the asteroid, creating a thrust effect to alter its course, or gravity tractors, which involve large spacecraft gradually tugging the asteroid off course using gravitational force. While experts remain optimistic, international collaboration and political will are going to be crucial for deploying these solutions. Over the next few months, astronomers will gather more data to refine predictions. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and the European Space Agency will monitor the asteroid through early 2025, after which it will be too faint to track until 2028. Already, the impact probability has been fluctuating between 1.3 and 1.9%, but experts expect that number to change more as observations come in. The combination of international coordination and scientific advancement gives humanity a fighting chance. For now, experts stress one key takeaway. We are more prepared than ever to defend against cosmic threats like asteroid 2024 YR4. Stay informed, but don't panic. Make sure to engage that like button and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest of this asteroid and space news from around the world, because here at TLP News, we believe that space is better together, and I'll see you next time.